<laughs> hey guys, just wanted to let you guys know that I am streaming on Twitch, and that's where most of my video game stuff is now, so if you like my video game stuff, make sure you go and uh, follow me on Twitch at leisurefreaks.twitch.tv.com. You will see me there almost every single night, so I'll be playing anything from Apex, Cold War, and then I'll take suggestions if you guys want to give me suggestions to games you like to play. So, thank you guys again, and back to the video. How's it going, Leisure Freaks? Today we are going to do another unboxing. The uh, first unboxing for the Spawn figure did really good, even though it was very shitty. Um, I do assure you this one will be a lot better, hopefully. <laughs> Um, today, right behind me, I have Sideshow Collectibles, the child figure. Uh, I think it stands about 17 inches tall, and, uh, we're just gonna jump right into it, because I am very fucking excited to open this up, so, here we go. So, as you can see here, it comes in this nice, beautiful box. It's got this nice top to it. Um, this one I will be taking out of the box, so don't worry, guys. Uh, had to double package it. Ooh, box art looks really good. I had them double pa package it because I didn't want my shit fucked up when it came in the mail. Um, as you can see, you got the child right there on the front. And then we got a bunch of other stuff on the side also. This is one of my favorite prints of the show. Um, when you get a lithograph of it, I think it's like $75 for like an 8x10. So that one's pretty popular. Oh, and then there's the back. These are all, this is all art from the show. If you watch the show, it's uh, at the end of the credits to show all this concept art. So, let's open this up. Fucking excited. It's just a thing from Sideshow letting everybody know, Hey, uh, show us what you fucking got. <laughs> it's showing me a label that says, Use Caution. I wonder why I only paid $400 for the figure. <laughs> So let's slide this out. They really make sure to tape this really good. Thank God. I will be right back. Without getting anything out of the box yet, this is the child. I think it looks really good. Let's take him out. Wow. Oh wow. Guys, he looks great. Pull these damn pads out of you. Damn, guys, look at this shit. Look at this motherfucker. Look at him. <laughs> look, he's got fucking hair. His fucking hands, his little fucking feet. Like real cloth aesthetic. You zoom in really close, he's fucking watching you. Well, I can, I'm gonna put him on the pedestal and see what he looks like. Before I put them on the pedestal, I wanted to show you guys. One, the pedestal's pretty fucking heavy. Um, but it has a really cool print on the bottom of it. That looks cool. Let me uh, come to the camera and show you guys. That is the print right there, and that is one of the uh, prints you really see everywhere. I have. Um, I have like pop sockets of this print just in a different like uh, background and stuff like that. But we are going to take him out, put him on the pedestal. And one of my favorite parts about the Sideshow collectible was he gets the knob with him. The knob from uh, Den Ship. Let's take him out. Everything else on the floor. Fuck you. Okay. Seems that this foot goes here. And he 
he is looking dope as fuck. Look at this motherfucker. He's very tall. And you can see, like, the hair and everything on him. If you guys have the money, like, lying around, if you have extra money and you're really into collectibles, I would really make sure you get this one, especially if you're a Mandalorian fan, just because they did a really good job detailing everything. You get the cloth, um, like, clothes to make it almost look like uh, it's from the actual show or uh, it's, it's real life. I don't know if his arms pose. They don't. His hand holds... He's got a magnet in his hand that holds the knob. I wonder... I wonder if it's this one. So it is, it is that one. So let me give you guys a closer look. Look how neat he is. He looks great. He's got the little knob in his hand. It's magnetic. He's on his little face. I am very happy with this. Um, again, I want to show you guys the hair. Can you guys see the hair? I can't tell. Yeah, I think it's picking it up. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys the hair. Um, doesn't really move. Kind of a bummer. But I mean, it is a statue. Um, it's a realistic statue. They did really great with the sculpting on the eyes, the face, they even like blushed his nose and cheeks. Um, his ears, you can't really tell. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they did a really good job detailing his ears too. I don't know if you can tell. But I remember when they were talking about this, they were really excited about bringing this out because uh, uh, Ruby, Ruby Collectibles had uh, have a life-size one, but it looks nothing as good as this. It is half the price of 200 but if you want something that looks realistic and really good, I would definitely recommend the Sideshow Collectible one, because I am very happy with this purchase. Even though it was $400, I think it was well worth it. Um, when it comes to collecting, I'm really big into getting stuff that I think looks uh, aesthetically good. It looks it looks like the character itself. Like, uh, Diamond Selects makes some really good statues that look just like the characters we see on TV and comic books, and they're some of the cheapest statues around. But, uh... Yeah, let me, let me bring him back here and look at him and all his goodness. And then I'm going to bring the camera over to him. Now as you look, he looks really great. I told you I would do a very close-up detail. He just, we're gonna go like, like they even did like, look, like blood vessels in his fucking ears. Like, <laughs> you know when they do that much detail that they really wanna, really wanna blow you away, but he, I don't know, tell me what you guys think. He just looks awesome. I'm just blown away by how great he looks. From the pedestal to the hands. Like even if you, well, maybe if it'll focus. Okay, I guess it's not gonna focus. There we go. He's even got like age spots on his hands. Like I'm even shocked that they would even do anything like that, just. We look from this angle, and here's like the back of his head, like everything, just great. Really in love with it, really in love with it. Again, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching this video. Um, kind of a short video this week, but I was just really excited to get my Sideshow collectible. I think he looks absolutely fucking amazing. I'm excited. Um, I can't wait to put him up and show him to everybody that come over. Unless they think he's a creepy ass like sex doll, then maybe they can't come over. But yeah, um, tell me how you guys like the figure. Tell me if you're interested in any of the Sideshow collectibles or what collectibles you collect. I, I love talking to people about collectibles and seeing what they do. I have a couple of friends that do their own custom stuff too. So um, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and then I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.